This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Monday, the 10th of September. I'm Michael Groff. Relatively dry weather with above average temperatures will continue for the foreseeable future here across the southwest as a persistent weather pattern gets locked in. Meanwhile, all eyes in the weather world are turning toward the tropics and Hurricane Florence, and we'll give you an update on that. First, we'll look at the almanac from yesterday. 106 degrees was our sizzling high temperature after a morning low of 85 and outside right now here at 5.45 a.m. It doesn't feel all that dry out there this morning, does it? 86 degrees, the current temperature. Dew point at 64. Humidity 46%. Winds are light. Barometer is rising. Temperatures across south central Arizona this morning. Upper 70s in a few locations. But most of us are in the mid 80s here in the urban core. The water vapor satellite view, despite the presence of high pressure to our west and a drier northwesterly flow aloft, still have some surface moisture seeping in, but that'll be mixing out later today. The watch warning map still fire weather watches and red flag advisories out here in the west. Meanwhile, flash flood watches, a couple of flash flood warnings, parts of south Texas as well as the northeast. Convective outlook for today, a marginal risk of severe weather. For the Northeast, from Washington, D.C. to Philadelphia, New York City, Hartford, Connecticut. The tropics in both the Pacific and the Atlantic, very active. Looking at the Atlantic side, four waves out there. One of those is actually over the Southwest Caribbean with a small chance of development. Certainly something to watch. Then we have hurricanes Florence, Helene, and Isaac. First, looking at Helene, this is going to be a fish storm. Doesn't look like it's going to affect anybody as it curves off to the north. Good news there. Hurricane Isaac is gaining some strength. It's expected to continue to move toward the west, be a problem for the Windward Islands later this week, but it will be encountering some more harsh conditions, which should weaken the storm at least somewhat, maybe down to a Category 1 hurricane or perhaps a tropical storm as it enters the Caribbean. Where it goes from there is still anyone's guess. This could be a problem for the Western Caribbean, Jamaica, the Gulf of Mexico, maybe the East Coast of the United States. Maybe this fizzles out entirely. Then there's Florence, and this is the most immediate concern, now rapidly intensifying. Maximum sustained winds 105 miles per hour. A turn toward the northwest is expected later today. This will become a major hurricane, Category 3, maybe up to a Category 4 as it approaches the Carolinas. The official track from the Hurricane Center brings it into North Carolina by about 2 a.m. Friday morning. That's Eastern Time. Modeling on this, here's the European Ensemble, 51 members. The black line is the ensemble mean, but you see many of the members bring it into the Carolinas. A few outliers still trying to curve it or maybe move it further to the west toward North Florida or Georgia. A few bring it up to the northeast, but the general idea is that the Carolinas are in the crosshairs here. The GFS Ensemble, there's 21 members here. And, you know, this is uh, one that's a little bit more of an interesting solution, bringing it a little bit further to the north, uh, more toward the outer banks, and then kind of looping it inward and then back toward the east-northeast. And that's certainly a possibility, too. But the bottom line is this is going to be a major headache for, for obvious reasons of the wind damage and the storm surge to affect the Carolina coast. But then the very heavy rain, upwards of a foot, maybe 18 inches of rain in some spots in Carolinas and Virginia, and maybe points north from there. Delaware, the northeast U.S., still has to watch this system very carefully. All right, rainfall around our neck of the woods, not anything like that. Uh, nothing here in the valley, maybe just about a tenth of an inch in parts of east, central, or southeast Arizona. We'll get into the details of our weather now as we look at the deterministic model output. Here we go, the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And it's pretty basic stuff. A high pressure to our west, above average heights, and that means above average temperatures. Down at the surface, sunny skies today. Even though it's muggy this morning, that humidity mixes out through the afternoon. Highs today, 102 to 106. Tonight, clear skies, lows upper 70s to mid 80s. Tomorrow, sunny, a little bit drier. Highs, 102 to 106. Wednesday, troughing over the Pacific Northwest helps to usher in more of a broad southwesterly flow through the atmospheric column. The humidity levels continue to taper off and high temperatures still around 102 to 106 we'll continue with that thursday meanwhile on the other coast the gfs has the center of florence near cedar island north carolina by 2 a.m friday morning the european is a bit faster having the system a little bit further to the south and west approaching charleston south carolina by thursday afternoon Back in our part of the world, Friday on the GFS, looks like dry weather continues, highs 102 to 106. Saturday, 101 to 105, sunny skies, a southwesterly flow, dry air continues. Same thing on Sunday, maybe high temperatures come down another degree or so. 
And here's a week from today, Monday the 17th. We are still dry and hot. High temperatures, 100 to 104. That's above average. Here are the normal highs for the month of September. And you can see, yeah, we're not going to be dipping down into the upper 90s anytime soon. And, you know, that's just going to continue all the way out here to the end of the forecast period. This is Wednesday the 19th. We're still hot and dry. High temperatures somewhere between about 100 and 103. Take a look at the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. Highs remain above average, trending down as we get toward latter September. But still, if this is correct, high temperatures remain above their statistical averages. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. Plus, your comments, questions, suggestions, always encouraged as well. Be safe out there, stay cool, and have yourselves a great Monday.